I'm Silvia Favaro, I'm a researcher in the Tirichi Group at Imperial College London. In this series of video, we will show you how we test electrochemical technologies at the laboratory scale. This video will focus on the free electrode cell and in particular on the rotating disc electrode. When testing electrocatalysts, three setups are mainly used. The rotating disc electrode, the gas diffusion electrode and the member electrode assembly. In this video, we will introduce the rotating disc electrode which is used with a free electric setup. This is the easiest and fastest to use, but also the least representative of a real electrochemical device. This is because, as we will see, everything happens in the liquid phase. In a free electrode setup, a rotating disc electrode is normally used as a working electrode, where the electrochemical reaction takes place. The rotating disc electrode is usually made of a conduct conductive glassy carbon, where the catalyst is deposited. So let's see how we deposit the catalyst. First of all, the catalyst powder, solvent and a polymer that acts as a binder are mixed to form the so-called catalyst ink. This is then sonicated to disperse the catalyst. The catalyst ink is then drop casted with a pipette on the electrode. The droplet is left to dry with mild rotation and the rotating disc electrode is then ready to be used. At this point we can assemble the free electrode cell. The cell is simply a glass container where we place the electrolyte which is the liquid medium through which the reactants are transported, in this case oxygen and protons. The electrolyte is normally aqueous and can either be acidic, such as 0.1 molar sulfuric acid, or alkaline, for example 0.1 molar potassium hydroxide. After the electrolyte, we can then add the reference electrode, the counter electrode and the working electrode, where a catalyst of interest has been deposited. The reference electrode is an electrode with a stable and well-known electrode potential. This is used to control the potential applied to the working electrode. Therefore, the potential that we measure refers solely to the working electrode and gives no information regarding the counter electrode. The counter electrode can be placed made of platinum, gold, glassy carbon and has a role of co closing the current circuit. For example, in the case of the oxygen evolution in acidic condition, the current electrode is where protons and electrodes produced by oxygen evolution in the working electrode recombine to produce hydrogen. Finally, if the reaction of interest has a gaseous reactant, for example oxygen reduction, we can saturate the electrolyte with the gas of interest by bubbling in the electrolyte. We can now connect each electrode to the correct lead and start the experiment. Note that the working electrode can rotate at a control speed. This function is used to control the transport of reactant and products to the catalyst surface. This configuration can be used to study a variety of reactions. In the case of gas-consuming gas reactions, such as oxygen reduction, the reactant has to diffuse through the electrolyte to reach the catalyst. By controlling the rotational rate, we can increase the rate of transport, but transport will still be a limiting factor in this configuration. In a typical linear sweep voltammetry experiment, the potential is varied linearly, starting from a value where no reaction is observed and the current is zero, slowly applying higher and higher driving force. At the start, the current, which is proportional to the reaction rate, increases exponentially with applied potential, which is expected for a kinetics limited reaction. However, at higher potential, the current starts to reach plateau, as the reaction rate is now limited by how fast the reactant can be transported. This is called the diffusion region. Finally, there is a variation of the working electrode, which is called rotating ring disc electrode. This electrode features the same glassy carbon disc where the catalyst is deposited, but is additionally equipped with a platinum ring, which is used to determine the product selectivity of oxygen reduction. When oxygen is reduced at the disc, it can either produce water via a four electron transfer or peroxide, which only involves two electrons. If peroxide is produced, it is transported to the ring, where it is oxidized back to oxygen. By monitoring the current at the ring, we can determine how much of the oxygen reacted at the disk has been converted to peroxide rather than water.